right guys so i promise i promise in this video i'm not gonna make you cry i know if you guys have been watching these series where we bought back my wife's uh father's first mustang gt he bought new you're getting a little weepy eye but we're getting out of the fields today boys we are back in the shop let's see what is popping off all right man everybody's already here dang okay so i promised we'd have something a little different boys and we have right here the forgotten Mustang. Dude, I love that shirt. You rocking it, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We have to be we have to be 100 percent correct. Guys, when I say the the forgotten one, this is the SN95, the 94 to 98, shortest run of a particular body style. And uh this thing is ridiculous. This has 20 22,000 22, miles on this thing guys and as you can see she's got some sauce under here she's she's a little spicy I got a v1 I guess that's just gonna be a pretty one much an ass trim is it yeah is it one owner mm -hmm. one and it's got the max flow power cooler we're gonna try if, if it dries up a little bit we're gonna try and, and get it out and just see how she runs but man they've did the the chrome cam covers and the intake. Yeah. Dude, he's got everything on it. I wonder if it's got headers and everything else on it. I think it do. I'm, I'm it's, it's so, everything's so tight, you can't see yeah, nothing. I think it does. Yeah, it's got headers. Oh, okay. So it's got headers on it. And also, guys, the, the reason it's here, it was, it was getting hot, wasn't running real well, and uh, the guys at Vortec came through in the clutch and got us the uh, a replacement pump the max flow power cooler and uh if you're not familiar with the max flow power cooler basically it just kind of acts like an air to water or it is an air to water intercooler and the pump was bad so uh huge shout out to vortec again for coming through and getting us that pump so we can get this beast back on the road but yeah boys this is uh this thing's clean super super obviously it needs a wash but clean in the sense of it's very low mile car and i'm looking at these and i'm thinking these are replicas and then you look close and these are real deal Celines too so man this thing is nice and that's the thing about these cars guys is they're because they only were you know a four-year model run as far as the body style the sn95 body style yeah all Celine all the way around they're uh they're getting harder to find and i'm not gonna lie we were actually trying to hunt a decent SN95 body style down, and it was rough. I, I was just, oh, oh man, <laughs> dude, and the, just the GTs were just trashed. And you know, I understand they're old, but it's like they were not loved at all. And we pretty much gave up. You know, I'm still, I'm always looking, but, um, but these are a really clean body style, especially when you drop these things, like. I mean, these are a super sharp body style, and then it's, you got to have the Cobra bumper yeah, too, yeah, yeah. with the round fog lights. The GT had the the square ones, but you know these cars really don't get a whole lot of love. And I don't know, I love them. I love. I would still love to find a clean one and drop a Coyote in it. You know, you know we got to put a Coyote. In. They needed one. Those those non PI two valves. <laughs> Even these. I mean, they they made decent power, but I mean. They were rated at 305 from the factories, which is not bad. And I think this one probably, I'm not sure what this thing would make with the Vortec. Like, uh, yeah, he said it was like 490. Like 490 mm -hmm. with this. So a but full the good boogie. thing about it has got the Texas block. So yeah, true. Yeah. That's the, that's the plus side to this. Yeah. That. You build power in it. Not yeah, worry about the block. But I'm telling you, under the hood, you are not fitting anything else under this hood. It is tight. This thing, like I said, low mile car. Got the Cobra floor mat. Let's take the key out so we can actually hear ourselves think. But, I mean, super low mile car. The only thing about these, the seats in the, the SM95s is there was so much padding, the leather just cracked all the time. But man, this thing is clean. Super clean. You see Cobra on the 
get in here and take a look here. You can see 22,754. That's cool. They had they still had the ashtray door. Kind of the SN95 version. And you had your fog lights and all that. Leather wrap brake. And you guys obviously you remember this dash ran all the way to 04 with some changes and stuff. But this is the old school Celine style uh, uh gauge pod, which is pretty awesome. Celine gauges at your boost and fuel. Very, very cool. Got the Mach 460 sound system. Very nice car in really good shape too. So one of the interesting things about the SN95 body style, again, this body style ran from 94 to 98, is that the first two years, 94, 95, they were the old school push rod 5.0. And there was the GT and the Cobra and obviously the six cylinder. And then in 96, which was the first year for the mod motors, uh, you know, they were mod motors. So this generation spanned not only the push rod, but also the mod motor. So it's kind of a unique, kind of a unique thing there. And again, you know, it was a pretty short run for this body style. But again, it's clean. You know, the door panels and everything the same up to 04. Uh, slight changes in the console. The seats changed in 99, but super cool car. It's even got the classic design concepts roll bar in it. All right, boys, so new pump is installed. Uh, we're going to take this bad boy down the road, make a little noise with it, and uh, just see how it's running. The last time we drove it, it was, it was making boost, but it didn't really... Almost like it had a boost leak. It was making boost, but it wasn't really... You couldn't really feel any more power. All right, guys. Let's see if we can make some boost. Ooh, that vortex noise. Yeah, yeah. Fuel pressure. Uh oh.
ground the two valve. Yep. <laughs> About as much power as a two valve. Do I? <laughs> nah, it's... Yeah, it's about the same as it is for the No, it's... Smell a little bit of coolant. Yeah, but it ain't nothing like it was. Mm -mm. See, I could smell it the other day too, but I never mm -hmm. did see nothing. And it might just be burning a little bit, but it ain't like smoking, yeah. not the tailpipe or nothing. Yeah, we can get some tools, take it apart. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig a little deeper in this one, boys. She's, she's definitely got it. It is making boost. Obviously, what but you want to do, take the strut yeah. brakes off and all yeah. this. Right. See what the plugs look like. And... Oh, there you go. Look at all that oil. Mm. So she's getting good spark, huh? That one's good. I'm... It's probably that one back there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, probably so. Probably just that. Oh my god. You know what's bad is that's the hydro boost side too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta tilt the motor or something, dude. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, I took it off the Mach 1, you remember? Yeah. You can see right there, boys. What is that? That's it. Oil soaked. Uh. Look at all that freaking oil. Get some of it out in here. Yeah. Here's your rag when you pull it out. Yeah. You see all that oil? Uh, yeah, it's still coming. Did you get that on camera? Huh? Yeah. She said that's disgusting. Huh? Uh. <laughs> it's still coming. Hey. Yep. Still coming. All right, so what's the verdict? Like pretty bad? Yeah, it's pretty rich looking. Yeah. Not horrible, but. Not yeah, she smells oily. We got anything on that side? Yeah, so far, the other is clean. Yeah, they're all dry. Mm -hmm. All them dry? Mm hmm. Good. So far, the two I've looked at been dry. We clean here, we ought to be all right. Crazy being this. Yeah, that one looks dry, though. Yep, dry. Yeah, he's clean. But this side is good. Yeah. Jeez. Well, there's the yeah. problem. What do you think, sir? Did we find the problem? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why we're not making any power. Jeez, Louise. Oh, I need to check the oil in this thing, too. About a quart in there. That's a bunch of oil. <laughs> That's a bunch of oil. But there's a pile of it right there. Mm-hmm. All on the yeah. socket and everything. Yuck. Yeah, the socket's full. Jeez. Problem solved. Guys, the stuff you find when you pull it apart, we were looking at this, we're like, man, it looks like they've been doing some porting in it, and I pulled up a picture of a... 96 Cobra intake. Stop. They did some serious porting on that thing. I'll just check them. Pretty sweet. All right, guys. Take 15. See what she does now.
a little loud. I don't know, boys. It feels like it should still be faster. Who knows? This thing running and we'll make some boost and we'll blow some tires off on this beast and uh it's gonna be fun i mean this car's this car ought to roll out pretty good so should be fun all right guys so there you go i hope you enjoy this video uh lots coming on pop's car lots coming on project four to eight lots coming on jeremy's car and george's car and ray's car and boomer's car and dover's truck and yeah we're, we're a little bit project rich around here gentlemen so uh that is what is up if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button and you know we'll be back i mean we gotta finish all this stuff right <laughs> later